Before we get started with anything, what we want to do is export our current gradebook. So I'm going to go to the gradebook, which I'm at, and then you're going to click on Actions and then Export. And what this is going to do is it's going to export your entire gradebook as a CSV file, which you can then open in Excel or in Google Docs. It will pop up if you're in, using Chrome as your browser, it will pop up in the bottom menu bar. I want to find out what my students' grades are at the point where we stopped meeting in class, so after March 13th. And I'm in my Canvas modules right now. I use modules to organize my units. So you can see here that I have a genetics unit below that, my biotech unit. The biotech unit went up until March 13th. So basically, I want to find out what my students' grades were in my genetics and biotech unit. This next unit here, this is what I started with when we started distance learning. And so this has all been done during quarter three. However, I wanna know what my students' grades were before we went into distance learning. So I use modules, which makes it really easy for me to see all of the assignments I've done since then. They're all listed here you might be using assignments instead of modules. So I'm gonna show you in assignments. Here is my first assignment that I did with distance learning. And it's a Canvas quiz. So I have to, in order to edit this one, I have to go into the three dots to choose edit. And what I'm going to do is click more options to open it up bigger. And in assignments or in quizzes, you're gonna see this right here that says, do not count this assignment towards the final grade. We're gonna to need to click on that for each of the assignments so that it's not calculated in the overall grade. So for any of my assignments that I created after March 13th, I'm gonna go in and check these boxes and save the assignment. However, before I do that, I don't want my students to freak out, being like, oh my gosh, what just happened to my grades? They've all changed. So before I make any changes to this, I am going to go up to announcements. And I'm gonna click plus announcement. And I'm going to send my students an announcement, letting them know what I am doing and not to freak out that everything will return back to normal within a few minutes after I go through this process. So I typed up this note to my students just to let them know not to be concerned and I'm posting it to all sections. I'm just leaving everything as is in the options and then I'm going to press save. Now that I've sent this announcement to my students, hopefully they won't freak out, I'm going to go back into the assignments. So here I was in edit assignment. I'm going to check this box. So it's not going to count this assignment towards the student's final grade. And then I'm going to press save. Now you would need to go back into your um, assignment section to go to the next assignment to check that box for each of your um, grades and you have to go back to assignments each time. When I am in my modules, it makes it actually a tiny bit easier for me to make the changes that I need to do. So I'm gonna click on Gizmo's disease spread, and I'm gonna edit this assignment, and I'm gonna choose the box that says do not count, say save, and then I have on the bottom of my assignments, I have a next button to go to the next assignment just because they're in modules. And so it makes it a little easier. I don't have to keep clicking back on assignments to go in and do this. So I'm just gonna keep going and make everything so that it doesn't count. You'll notice that on each of these assignments, after you have checked that box and press save, there's a blue box above that says this assignment does not count toward the final grade. If you have something that is using the new version of Canvas quizzes, what you're going to do is you need to be in the assignment section. Click on the three dots to the right and choose edit, and then more options. 
and here's where you're going to click to not account to not count the assignment towards the final grade and press save. When using original quizzes, you are going to not see the option to check the box to not have it counted towards the grade. What you need to do is change the quiz type to a practice quiz and then you'll save that and you will not lose any of the quiz scores. What you need to do is switch it back once you're done, switch it back to a graded quiz and then all the grades will come back for you. If I'm in a Canvas discussion, it doesn't have the box to check either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uncheck the box that says graded and then press save. Now that I've finished marking everything that I needed, everything new from after March 13th, what I'm going to do is go into my gradebook and into my gradebook, I'm going to click actions and I'm going to export my gradebook. And this will save your gradebook to down at the bottom of your Chrome browser. So now after you have exported your grades from before distance learning occurred, you need to go back into your assignments in Canvas and make sure that you switch everything back. So right now I'm in an assignment that you can see in the blue, it says it does not count toward the final grade. So I'm going to click on edit. And I'm going to uncheck this box so that it now does count for my final grade, which is my current grade as of right now for third quarter. So I'm going to press save down at the bottom and you need to do that for each of the assignments that you checked the box. Now you need to go back and uncheck the boxes. So I am going to open up those two CSV files that I downloaded and I'm going to put them into my Google Drive. So in Drive, I'm going to click on New, File Upload, and I am going to find those downloads that I just did. I actually had renamed the downloads. Um, I didn't show you how to do that, but I'm going to take the first one that I had, which was my current grades as of now, so after I've entered stuff in for distant learning, I actually click both of these because I want to import both of them. So I have my current one and then the one where I hid all, checked all the boxes to see what my grades would be before distance learning. So I'm going to open both of those and that's going to put both of those into my Google Drive. I find that the easiest way to find where those now live is I just go to recent in my Google Drive and I can see them. So I'm going to open up my before distance learning and it has the overall grades here. I'm also going to open up my current grades. These are my quarter three grades. So what I want to do is I want to take my current grades and I want to add them to my before distant learning grades. And so if your before distant learning grade doesn't have a title down here, you can click on the little arrow and rename this and just call this like before distance learning, just so you know what this sheet is. I'm going to do the same thing on my current. So I'm going to name it current. Now I want to move this current grade over to the before distance learning grade. So if I click, I'm in my current one. I have this little sheet tab down at the bottom. I click on the arrow and I am going to copy to an existing spreadsheet. So I'm going to click existing spreadsheet and I'm going to choose my before distance learning spreadsheet. So I can go to recents and I want to move it to my before. So I'm going to click before and say select. And then I'm going to say OK. Now if I look at my before, it says before and then copy of current. I'm just going to rename this to current. And now I can look at the two overall grades. And I would need to scroll all the way to the right to find my final grade. So now I have my two sets of grade books, my before distance learning and my current. What I'm going to do is click on the plus down at the bottom to add a sheet. And I'm going to rename this. Um, all grades, and I'm going to move it over. I can just drag and drop it. I want that in the front. Now I'm going to go to my before distance learning, and I want to highlight 
column A. I'm going to press Control on my keyboard or Command on a Mac. I want their student ID, SIS login ID, and I want their section, their period. Then I'm going to go all the way to the end of my gradebook. And the grade that you want right now is you actually want what's titled the current score and the current grade. And it's not the final grade because I still have other stuff in my gradebook that's still kind of showing up, but it's marked as not being uh, categorized or um, part of the final grade. So I'm just highlighting those four columns, the student name, SIS, um, also uh, the period one, and then current score and current grade. So I, then I press Control C to copy, Command C on a Mac, I go over to all grades, put my cell in A1, and I paste and I get that information. I'm going to change or add in under current score and current grade. I'm going to put before distance learning. This will help me remember because it's not actually current. It was before distance learning. Now I'm going to go over to my current grades. These are my third quarter grades. And I don't need the student info from the beginning. I just need the current grade and the current score again. So I'm going to click both of those. So I um, am checking up at the top in the gray. So for me, it's A, Y, and B, C. It's going to be different for yours, depending on how many assignments you have in there. I'm going to copy Control C or Command C on a Mac. I'm going to go back to my all grades and I'm going to paste Control V. So now I have my grades that I can compare how students did before distance learning and after distance learning to see if distance learning is hurting my students. Now I'm keeping these bottom tabs that have all of the assignments, all of the grades. That way, in case there's any sort of question about the grades, I have a recorded copy so I don't have to go through and edit my Canvas again. But now in June, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, once everything's entered into my gradebook, I'm going to go back to the gradebook, choose Actions and Export. I'm going to then put that into my Google Drive. And then I'm going to move that tab from that new final one. Remember, you can click on the tab here and you can say copy to existing spreadsheet and you're going to add it to your second semester grade spreadsheet and you'll have another tab at the end of your final grades. And then again, what you can do is copy and paste those over into your all grades as these new categories. Don't forget to put a label here. So these are third quarter grades so you know what each of these are.